Hello, and welcome back to another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. Today, we're going to be looking at the Top 10 Facts about the Mile High Club. It's one of the most exclusive clubs on the planet, but technically anyone with a plane ticket can join, if they're careful enough not to get caught. But here are 10 facts about this sauciest of societies that you might not know. Number 10. The Mile High Milestone So what technically gets you a membership to the Mile High Club? Don't jump out of your seat and head off to the bathroom too early. Only once the plane has reached a minimum altitude of 5,280 feet does membership open. It's probably worth the wait in any case. Once you're at a higher altitude, the atmospheric pressure is supposed to help heighten the intensity of your orgasm, in part because of the reduced levels of oxygen available. Also, the plane's vibrations might lend an extra helping hand. Number 9. Lie back and think of England. People of all nationalities like to indulge in a little frisky flying, but the English do it best. You wouldn't think it to look at the prim and proper palms, but according to a Skyscanner survey of 700 airline attendants, the Brits join the Mile High Club more frequently than those of any other nationality. We should give a tip of the hat to the Australians, Germans, French, and Brazilians for their sterling efforts too. Number 8. Where Fantasy Takes Flight So does everyone who gets aroused mid-flight excuse themselves and head to those teeny tiny laboratories? Turns out, not so much. The place eagle-eyed sticky beaks are most likely to catch a perv is in coach. Almost 80% of all hot and heavy petting takes place in those seats, while only 25% manage to make their way to the privacy of the bathroom. Business class, meanwhile, is apparently much too classy a place to engage in hanky-panky, with only 20% of on-air action taking place there while the cockpit is almost completely right out, which is probably just as well as you'd hope the pilots are too busy flying to get busy getting, er, busy. Wondering why 80 plus 20 plus 25 equals more than 100%? Some respondents needed to check off multiple locations, the saucy minxes. Number seven, getting to fourth base. Just because someone got frisky in their seats with a fellow passenger, that doesn't mean they actually had intercourse. There's all sorts of misadventures that high flyers get up to. Over 40% of those surveyed admitted to kissing someone while in flight, but nearly 17% have fondled a partner, and 7% have actually got to the point of removing a belt. As for the percent of people who are actual honest to God, but we hope he wasn't looking, members of the Mile High Club, 4%. That's one percent point for each base they crossed. Number 6. Stranger things have happened, but not that often. The fantasy for many is an in-flight encounter with a mesmerizing stranger, and while 20% of Mile High members admit that their dalliance occurred with someone they had never met, most of us are more likely to know our mid-air companion. 79% of respondents only ever went mile high with a significant other. Number 5. Switch to autopilot. Ever wondered why the autopilot function exists? Because its inventor wanted to be free to focus his attention elsewhere when in flight. Aviator Lawrence Burst Sperry came up with the autopilot in 1914, and not long afterwards he became the first ever member of the Mile High Club. In fact, there's a story that Sperry was involved in a minor plane crash on Long Island because he was too busy impressing a local socialite with his autopilot. Obviously, there were a few more kinks to iron out. Number 4. Making out on the hay while the sun is shining. When is the most common time to take flight while in flight? While some might suspect that it would be overnight on longer flights, the amorous tend to get fed up waiting for night to fall. No, long daytime flights that last between three to five hours are the most likely to experience something a rockin'. Number three, you'll be happier with the right airline. If you're thinking of joining the Mile High Club, start off on the right foot by booking a flight with a more receptive carrier. 
Despite offering double bed suites on some planes, Singapore Airlines has had to come out and ask couples to stop having intercourse while in flight. A cruel request, we think. However, if you choose a company like Cincinnati's Flamingo Air, you might find the environment a little more hospitable. They offer private one-hour flights complete with a comfy bed, a bottle of champagne, and a quote-unquote discreet pilot for as little as 425 US dollars. Number two, celebrities in the club. Gwyneth Paltrow has done it, Ralph Fiennes signed up too, Barbara Streitzan is a member, and so is Miranda Kerr, Jake Gyllenhaal, Janet Jackson, and Liam Neeson. John Travolta, a licensed pilot, is rumored to have joined the club while at the controls. Of course, Virgin Air top dog Richard Branson has long been a member. In fact, he boasts that he first signed up at the age of 19. Maybe that's when he got a taste for air travel. Number 1. Mile High Money Rising to the top of this countdown, we have the story of a flight attendant who reportedly became a millionaire by prostituting herself on flights for over a year. The attendant, supposedly working on a Middle Eastern airline, made as much as $2,500 per flight before she was caught, fired, and deported. A colleague went on record saying that the attendant admitted that she had sex with many other passengers during flight and that she preferred long-distance flights between the Gulf and the United States. Thanks for watching another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. And remember, it's our duty to entertain and yours to subscribe. Hello, my children. This is Jesus here, reaching out to you from above to say you are nearly in my good books and to come join me in my kingdom. But first, you must subscribe to Daily Top 10's or thou shalt deem you unworthy of my kingdom. So. Subscribe now.